And the legend of Manny Pacquiao lives on in his return bout with WBO welterweight champion Timothy Bradley. Pacquiao dominated the fight to carve a unanimous decision over Bradley. It was sweet revenge and redemption for Pacquiao, who was robbed of a controversial decision in 2012. Who's next after Bradley? Could it be Floyd Mayweather Jr.? How many more fights can he handle on the road to retirement? And joining us tonight on News Life is Mr. Ronnie Nathaniels. He has covered every fight of the congressman from Sarangani. Good evening, sir, and welcome to News Life. Good evening. It's nice to be here. Sir, to start us off, did you ever have any doubt that Manny Pacquiao would win this fight against Timothy Bradley? None whatsoever. I was what? not sure which way he'd win, whether he'd win by points or he'd win by a knockout. Uh, if it was a knockout, I predicted anywhere between 8 to 10, but otherwise he was going to win an easy decision. Now, how different was this fight from his first encounter with Bradley? Well, he won both fights. I mean, Bradley fight, the first fight, he was robbed. He dominated that fight, but they didn't give him the decision. Two judges who judged that for Bradley, uh, Cynthia Ross and Dwayne Ford, subsequently quit uh, as judges, which is a good thing for the sport of boxing. And now, this time, it was still a very, very clear victory. And this time, the judges, judges saw it correctly. Now, sir, some analysts may say that Congressman Pacquiao has lost his knockout punch. Now, has his age finally caught up with him to deliver a powerful and devastating blow in his future fights? Well, you've got to realize that Manny Pacquiao is now 35 years old. He has been fighting for almost 19 years and the wear and tear on his body is beginning to tell. Frankly, I'll be very honest with you, I thought he was a little slower than he was in the past. And when you slow a little bit, slow down a little bit, uh, speed accentuates power. So therefore, the power also goes down a little bit. And he's changed his style. He has transformed from a fighter to a clinical boxer which is a good thing because at his age he cannot afford to take he took when he was a young man and uh, he just went after his opponent so good nang so good hindi pwede na yun ganyan so now sir pakyao's charisma has changed boxing in recent years yes. now what makes him so special his humility i think the number one uh, thing that goes for many pakyao is his humility Everywhere he goes, every time he talks about an opponent, he is so humble, so gracious. Even when he was robbed of the decision in the first fight, what did he say? He didn't complain. He said, uh, that's sports, that's mm -hmm. boxing. You win some, you lose some. You know, Tama. Now, how do you think will he be remembered in the future? Well, it depends on what office he's going to run for. <laughs> <laughs> Because, uh, quite honestly, indications are, uh, and I'm not going to campaign for him, I'm telling you, indications are he will run for the Senate in 2016. That's his inclination as of now. So, I believe he's going to keep on fighting until 2016 because, one, he needs the money to, to run a successful campaign. Two, he needs to remain in the public spotlight. Mm -hmm. So those two things coming together means he was going to fight for another two years. Mm -hmm. Now with this big win, there's going to be a lot of anticipation. Now, who do you think would be next on his schedule? Do you think a match with Floyd Mayweather w will be in the process? Well, I think uh, Mayweather is a confirmed coward. So I don't think <coughs> he'll pick up a Pacquiao fight. <coughs> Excuse me. In case he does, in case he does, that's a fight that's come four or five years too late. Mm -hmm. But still, it'll be the fight that everybody has, has wanted. I think the best fight for Manny right now may be a fight with Amir Khan. Mm -hmm. Amir Khan was a friend, a sparring partner. They train together. They know each other well. And Amir Khan is quick. He's got quick hands. Uh, he's tall. He can fight. And it should be a good fight. Do you see another match <coughs> with Marquez? That'll be one of the worst fights ever. Uh, Why do you say that? Because Marquez is a counterpuncher. Pacquiao is now a boxer. Mm -hmm. A counterpuncher against a boxer, you're going to have an unentertaining fight. It's not going to be exciting. And besides, Marquez is 40 years old. When you saw him mm -hmm. be beat, when he was beaten by Bradley, he was so slow, mm -hmm. and his age really showed. 
Now, sir, you've seen everything in the world of sports. Now, a final word from you. What did you see in this fight? Well, the one thing that, that filled my heart was the fact that so many Filipinos, not just here, in every city, in every town, in every province, and around the world, came together to cheer Pacquiao on. I haven't seen anybody in, in many, many years have the capacity to bring a nation together as Manny Pacquiao does. And, and that's his yeah. biggest asset. And finally, to add to that, do you think there would be anyone else in the future that could actually be in the same kind of league as what Manny Pacquiao has done in the boxing industry for the Philippines? Well, uh, the only one that comes remotely close to Pacquiao at this stage of his career is the Filipino Flash, Nonito. Uh, he has won four world titles. He's going for a fifth world title on May 31st in Macau. If he wins that title, then he will be, will be you know, fairly close to Pacquiao. But believe me, there will never be a man, another Manny Pacquiao, certainly not in my lifetime. Okay, on that note, thank you very much for joining us here much. tonight on News Live. That was Mr. Ronnie Nathaniels, a legend too in the world of sports casting in the Philippines. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.